Why are you following me? Why are you following me? Why are you following me? So this year in 2024, I was lucky enough with the help of VapeZoo and Papa Jundi to be able to travel to Jakarta, Indonesia, not once, but twice to attend the two biggest vape shows that they do in Asia. Jive, the Jakarta International Vape Expo, happened in May of this year, and Vape Fair Indonesia happened in September of this year. And as someone who has been to both, I gotta tell you, these shows are not like anything I've ever seen. They do vape shows different in Jakarta. It was But before we get to that, this was my first time ever traveling to this side of the world and my first time in Jakarta, Indonesia. And it is, man, it honestly was a little bit of a culture shock for me. Look, I have driven in and sat in traffic in Los Angeles and on Southern California freeways, and that pales in comparison to the traffic and driving that happens in Jakarta. If there was a word I could use to describe the city of Jakarta, it would just be energetic as f I genuinely wasn't prepared for the amount of scooters that are there. There is a scooter subculture there that is deep and intense and scooters everywhere. And they're fixing scooters and working on scooters and scooters is how you get around. Maybe I sound like an out of touch American, but I could have ordered the equivalent of an Uber and a scooter can just show up and you just sit on the back of a scooter to McDonald's, which they do also have there and are delicious. Between my two visits to Jakarta, we've gone out a bunch to different restaurants. We got to go shopping and walk around and see all sorts of things and eat all sorts of things. We visited restaurants and shopping malls and mountains of vape shops. In Jakarta, it's like literally every block, there's two to three vape shops. Now, if we're gonna talk about the vape shows and the vape culture, for me, that starts with Jive. Look, it's a lot of travel, but it's always worth it. the camera come out you got to sit up and flex a no, little I bit didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i don't know what you're talking what about I'm not, <laughs> I'm not flexing it's weird i'm not flexing i was just trying to show this delightful little scene with espressos and whatever beecher has jimmy passing by and we're vaping with a wild willy going over here and it's overall pretty delightful just wanted to get that but beecher's what's up beecher's the new Dwayne. <laughs> nope, that's not true. No, that's actually true. not true at no, all in any true. way. No, that's no. very wrong. I'm wearing a shirt that makes me look like less of a fat guy. Especially hanging out with Beecher because he's so cut now. Cut, tan, tattooed, creamy as shit. Humpty Dumpty over here. I don't think, my dad used to call me something and I can't remember what it was. It was like a kid's cartoon character. 
Baby Huey, yep. Baby Huey, Baby Huey. I felt like Baby Huey all day. That's all. I had to finish the thought. To Indonesia, let's go to Indonesia. All about Jive 2024. Mother Truck and Jive 2024. Exxon's and Rebuildables. Liquids and flavors. Jive 2024. Most vape shows everywhere else in the world, in Dubai, and in the UK, and in Germany, and in the US, they all end at like 6 p.m. Not in Jakarta. It's almost 6.30 right now, and people are still showing up on a Sunday. It's only getting more packed. They go hard here. I was blown away by Jive, not just because of the size of it. I've been to big vape shows in the past. I've attended ECCs when they were in Southern California at like th their peak. I've been to big vape shows before. This was more than just a big vape show. This was like the most energetic vape show I've ever seen. Not once in the probably 10 plus years I've been attending vape shows have I seen more people start showing up as the night goes on. Almost each individual booth at Jive was like its own teeny tiny little vape show. Some of them had stages and some of them had games that you can play. One of them had a stage with just people dancing. Anybody could get up there and dance for like 30 seconds with a DJ and then everybody clapped at the end and people got bottles of liquids and people got off the stage and more people got on the stage and just danced. Jive just had this intense and deep sense of community and fun and celebrating this. It completely blew me away. And then September happened and then Vape Fair Indonesia happened. Well, I think my transformation into your local venue's sound guy is complete. Today's the first day of vape fair. I am excited. Let's go see what the biggest looks like. We're going into the second day here, and I legitimately don't remember how much video I shot on the first day, so that sounds like a future problem for editing guy. And not fun, you know, freewheeling, traveling, grim green office guy out in the world. I don't have to worry about stuff like that. Half, half jam. Half, half that. jam. He's got pina jam and uh, strawberry. Strawberry. Strawberry, mate. Bit of watermelon, mate. I'm excited. I haven't had pineapple jam before. This is new. Ever. This is a new experience for What's, me. I want, I want a live reaction. This is like a random liquid tasting. Mm. On the nose. On the nose. It smells like like a sweet pineapple candy. As you would expect. Yeah. Let's see. Cheers. I can't imagine that's bad. Great. It's great. It's mm. probably awesome. A canned pineapple. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. It's kind of like that sort of flavor. Yeah. But with a, a buttery biscuit base. <laughs> Vape Fair Indonesia was somehow even a bigger throwback to those old school vape shows in the US. I said I felt like I took a time machine to get to Jive. I definitely took a time machine to get to Vape Fair Indonesia. I didn't know that it would be possible, but this definitely was a bigger 
show than Jive was in terms of building size and in terms of vendors there. It's rare to see anybody using disposables in Indonesia. And at this show at Vape Fair Indonesia, there were a few disposable vendors, but their booths were always really boring and empty. As big as Vape Fair Indonesia is, and it is big and as impressive as it is, and it is impressive, there was a lot less of that each individual booth kind of being its own show type of vibe. I actually th think what he's trying to say is that Jive felt a little bit more community driven and Vape Fair Indonesia felt a little bit more corporate. That's all, he finishes strong, it's a great video. The people at both shows, and I can't stress this enough, are unbelievable. Just the kindest, nicest, most welcoming, most sure jump up on the stage and dance with us for no real reason kind of people I've ever been around. I immediately, immediately felt like I was part of the vape community in Indonesia. These are the two biggest vape shows that they do in Asia. And now, more than ever, it really does feel like a global vape community. I've been to vape shows in Germany and Paris and Ireland and the UK and Sweden and Dubai and New Zealand and all across the United States of America and now in Jakarta, Indonesia. There might be language barriers and there might be cultural differences, but we all speak the language of the vape and damn it, that's a beautiful thing. Thank you again to Vape Zoo. Thank you again to Papa Jundi. I can't wait to get back to Jakarta, Indonesia. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so. What you drinking, Major? Some water. That looks like papaya to me, and those taste like farts. I wasn't sure what it was, and then I had one piece, and I was like, mm. no. No. Yeah! We are here live at Jive 2024. Not live. Oh, I, gotta look at, I gotta look at the camera. And Let's not. go smoke some cigarettes, you guys. Oh, oh shit. Two asses and boobs. Two, two asses, asses and boobs. boobs. Two asses and boobs. <laughs> yes, uh, 10 out of 10 would recommend I will see you in Indonesia most likely next year.